trick or treat. Thank you so much for joining my channel today. I have some fun ideas to share with you about Halloween. Uh, for starters, let's look at my shelf of some fun things. What I like to do is use some existing items that I already have and incorporate it in my different designs um, just to make it interesting and unique and also save some money and some storage. So on this first shelf, for example, this horse I had, um, and then the glass slippers for Cinderella, um, I had those as well. Uh, then as we go to the second shelf, um, I have some several vintage pumpkins throughout. Uh, those were family pieces. I also have this really cute French um, candy display, sucker display. And uh, in the background, it's hard to maybe tell in the picture, but in the background there's a box of vintage Dum Dum lollipops. So I put some lollipops in the French um, candy display. And then of course we have the cat that my mother made for me that I just love. And um, I incorporated that too. Then we come down to the bottom shelf. And one of my favorite items on this shelf is this really cute vintage truck that was my dad and my uncle's from the probably early 1940s. And so I utilized it, filling it with pumpkins and um, just incorporating it in the scene um, to add some more interest. And I just think it's kind of fun. So I encourage you to use what you have and then find some treasures and add to it and you'll have a great display. Next up we have some table setting ideas. I use an orange tablecloth instead of a Halloween version because I can use this tablecloth in other areas like Thanksgiving, summer parties, Mexican fiestas and I use paper plates and napkins because it's for small children or younger children and it's just easier than uh, glass. The beverage is in a summer plastic glass. The punch is grape juice, limeade, Sprite, and then at the very end, I will add a scoop of orange sherbet, which makes it especially yummy. Then also here, we have some little baking cups that I purchased at Home Goods, and that is filled with caramel corn and little candy corn like pumpkins. The placemats are from Home Goods. They are felt, and I thought what would be fun for the kids young and old, is to give them a felt pen and let them draw a design underneath the plate of their favorite Halloween scene, and then perhaps there can be a contest or nothing else would be a fun project. And then every place setting has a goodie bag. Some are in these cute uh, little bags, um, little Frankenstein boxes and they are containing Pez, a marshmallow ghost, a glow-in-the-dark dinosaur in the back, and then a wind-up Frankenstein. I didn't add any more candy because I figured they're going to have enough candy. Then we come here to some of the goodies. We have um, miniature cupcakes, we have cookies, and then we have bigger cupcakes. And what's great is I went to our local Kroger store, which is called Fred Meyer, and they actually had plain cookies that I purchased, and then the kids were able to decorate them. And it's just a nice way in this busy world to do something fun but not take all day to make it happen. Uh, in addition, the cupcakes I bought, the large ones here at the bottom, they were already baked and then we frosted them, added the sprinkles and then the little um, Halloween picks. And then the tiny little ones at the top 
We just bought those and left them as is because they are so cute. Another thing I would like to share with you are these wonderful tins. Um, there's several different designs and they're all about the same size. But a lot of times folks like to put pumpkins with candles or luminaries to light up the walkway to the house, which is great. Um, I, I'm not a fan of the paper ones because they either blow over, get wet, um, or just lose their rigidity. Even if it's not raining, they can still use their rigidity just because of the moisture in the air. And what's great with these is you can fill them with sand, you can fill them with rocks, you can put in a live votive candle, or of course you can also put in a battery operated candle. In addition, you could also punch out the eyes or different holes in the can so you can um, get some more illumination. And then lastly, I'm going to decorate this tree. Um, it is a white tree, which I intentionally purchased um, because it allows one to decorate it without um, using it just for Halloween. So I could have purchased a black one. I purchased a white one again from Home Goods. And my reason for doing that again is I can use it for different seasons. I can use it for Christmas. I can use it for Valentine's Day, for Easter, um, Fourth of July, just a whole lot of options. And um, when it comes to decorative items, I think options are good. So I went to Michael's and I bought some picks and some additional items to hang on the tree. So I will decorate that and then I will turn the video back on and show you what that looks like. So here's some pictures of the tree and excuse the items in the background. You can see Santa Claus peeking in. He's getting ready to join the scene. But it's just fun to add some different things. Um, the other thing that I need to share with you is the tablecloth. On top of the tablecloth, I put this black uh, cheesecloth and it is just so much fun. You can get it at quite a few different stores. Um, but then, I'll show you what I did on one of the corners is I kind of draped it just kind of in a fun way. So just so you can see how it was draped. Just like this. And then here's what the beverages look like with the yummy ice cream sherbet on the top. I think I probably put a straw in there. Um, and then last but not least, one thing I'd like to share with you is with these little gift bags. The items were a little bit taller than the bag. The bag itself was pretty much the same height, so it didn't allow to tie a ribbon or string around it. So what I did is I took the top of the bag and I intentionally folded it down just so you could see um, the items and so it didn't look like I intentionally had them too short so that's something you can do too you can just fold it over and tie a ribbon and it looks intentional so thank you so much for joining me today please uh, like the channel below and subscribe I'll be doing uh, Thanksgiving uh, fall and lots of Christmas coming up soon and I'd love to share it with you so have a spectacular Halloween and thanks so much for watching.